so what is a uh, snowflake and what is a star schema what is the difference yeah, snow, uh, the, the star schema is it's a, a denormalized design that is the star schema and snowflake is it's a normalized model that is the snowflake schema design even uh, six months experience people also uh, give the same answer like it is a denormalized it is a normalized okay so as experience you like, have to answer more detail like uh, what is it denormalized what is a normalized okay so the main car yeah. what is the reason why we are going to avoid the snowflake schema uh, why we are going to avoid the star schema and why we are moving to the snowflake yeah. schema the reasons we have to tell them some more details yes, okay. uh, so at least try to, no at least try to write down the uh, five to six points for the differences and you have to understand uh, clear uh, detailed information what is a normalization what is a denormalization and what is a redundancy okay so the reason why we are moving to the snowflake is uh, because of uh, reducing the redundancy uh, in fact table okay so how to reduce the redundancy what is a redundancy so you have to understand those things a redundancy is nothing but a, a kind of a duplication a repeating the same value more than one time so instead of uh, maintaining that value inside the fact table so you can keep in another dimension and you can make the uh, that dimension as a child dimension to the product dimension for example you have subcategory table and uh, product table instead of maintaining the product key and subcategory both keys inside a fact table you can maintain any of one key value either product key value uh, or a subcategory key value so and you can make the relationship between the subcategory and product key okay so try to understand that concept okay so and in the first session we have created one uh, tablet project right and whenever you are creating any tablet project what will happen it will uh, import right it will create one workspace under your default server whatever the analysis services you are using it will use one default workspace so whenever you are doing this work and whatever data you are importing it will save that information inside your workspace database the workspace database it will create uh, along with your project name and your username and one unique id it will give and then after after you are creating the project the project is nothing but is a one uh, model we are going to create here okay by default the model name is model.bam so in this model what you are going to design and what are the relationships you want to make between the tables and from where you are going to get the tables if you want to get the tables definitely you have to get somewhere uh, from your data source so how to connect to your data source and what is your data source system right now i have one data source system that is a uh, sql server uh, sales dw right under the sales dw i have some uh, one fact table and some dimension tables dim customer dim date to product sales person fact table so how can you connect to this data source from this tablet model uh, Shudanshu? can you please tell me right so from this if you observe one thing here why I'm only getting this Microsoft SQL Server here. Normally, when you are uh, going to this model, import from data source, you will get plenty of data sources. Am I right? Yes. Sir. But right now, I'm getting only uh, one data source. That is only Microsoft SQL Server. What is the reason? The reason because my model is under direct query mode so if you are going to the properties of model.bam properties window there 
your mode what is the mode you want to use to fetch the data from your data source to tabular mode how many kinds of modes we have Import mode. Uh, import mode. That is nothing but in memory. So these are the two primary modes. Other than these two, we have two more modes that we will discuss later after publishing this tabular into our SQL Server analysis. But here in uh, tabular designer, we have two primary modes. One is in, in memory mode. Direct. This in memory mode, what it will do? It will store all those in that uh, RAM I mean the cache, yeah. cache memory. This is a very important interview question. You have to understand about the concept of what is in-memory, what is direct memory. The, the main concept here it is in-memory. So that is the reason tabular model is coming to the picture. Okay. So by default when you are connecting to your data source and when you are creating your model, the default mode is uh, in-memory mode. It will try to import all the data into your tabular model. Okay. So later, if you want to change that mode from uh, in memory to direct query mode, you have to make here on. By default, it will come like this off uh, direct query mode, off mode it will come. But when you are going to make this on mode, if you want to make it on, what will happen? right if, if now i am in the in memory mode right because direct query mode if you are off that means it is in memory mode so now i am going to connect to the modal input data sources see <laughs> how many data sources i am getting so in this in memory mode you can directly connect to many number of data sources because uh, this is just for just it is just fetching the data from your Data, uh, data sources into in memory the data a one time set limit so but in direct query mode what will happen every time every minute every second for every process whenever you are going to execute your model process your model queue it has to connect to your data source so as of now it is not supporting your other than the SQL Server, in the direct query mode, it don't support anything. You got the point? Yes. So you have to note down this. So in interviews, when they are asking a question like, uh, what is the difference between in-memory mode and uh, direct query mode? Okay. So if they will ask a question like, I have Oracle database. And... Uh, I want to use the direct query mode. Is it possible? So you have to answer like that. Okay. Right. So this is the in memory mode I am using. And uh, so under the in memory mode, there are a lot of differences also there. Uh, we'll discuss one by one going forward when we are discussing the topics. Okay. If you want to change the mode of the query mode, so you have to change over here. Okay. Right. So the next thing is after you are connecting to your data source and uh, whatever the connection you have established and what tables you want to import so you are selecting all the tables once you are selecting and importing the data so it should give two windows one is the data window so i have total dim product table dim sales person table dim store table dim customer table and fact product sales dim date so this is my fact table and this dim products all these are the dimensions okay and if you are coming to the next window here this is the modal graphical user interface how these tables are organized and if you want to make any relationships between the tables you can see over here same whatever the tables you can find inside the grid view here it is just displaying like a grid like a tables and what data is inside the tables okay the same thing if you want to see like what is the relationship between all these tables and all these things you can go to the diagram view 
this is the diagram yes. okay so if you want to zoom out yes you can zoom out like this yes. so i got the tables from the source system dim store dim product dim date all these tables are dimension tables this is the only one fact table so what we are calling the relationship what what we are calling this uh, schema if you if you are looking like this star. it is a star schema how can you say star. that it is a star schema because all the dimensions are directly connected to the fact table right so what i am going to do here i want two more dimensions one is a product subcategory dimension and one more is product category dimension so how can you make the relationship between the these two dimensions and fact tables yeah, we have in the, in the with the product uh, product uh, dimension we can connect this category and that category so in the product dimension i am going to maintain subcategory key and i will make the category yeah no no the category you will make the relationship between subcategory so here we have subcategory key so you can make the relationship between these two okay and this subcategory table is going to maintain category key and this category key is going to maintain with the category table category key this is the relationship you got the point yes. so, so if you are making the relationship like this what is this schema this is snowflake design snowflake design how can you say that this is a snowflake uh, because uh, this, this, this category dimension and the subcategory dimension are indirectly related to the fact table right so is it possible to make this schema as a star schema yeah it is possible we can uh, we can make it but uh, it can be how can you make it is a star scheme because uh, because we, if we will keep all these subcategory key and that category key inside the fact table, right. then it can become a snowflake. Right. So why we are not going to maintain the subcategory key and category key inside the fact table is because so every time whenever one transaction is happening, you have to maintain the each key value, subcategory key value and category key value, right? So instead of maintaining in the fact table, because the fact table is having more data. Every day in Amazon, whatever the transactions are happening, whatever the orders are coming, so each order is inserting into a fact table. Okay, so that is the reason instead of maintaining these key values every time, so you can keep in your dimensions, and whenever you want to see the information, you just join this fact table with product table, product table with subcategory table, subcategory table with category. category. Then you will get what columns you want. For example, category name, subcategory name, product name, and what is the total quantity. So you will get each view, right? Category wise, subcategory wise, product wise, and uh, order quantity. Okay. So how these relationships are made? I didn't make this relationship because already these relationships have in my source system. Well, yeah, in my, yeah. In my SQL Server, my in my data source, already I have one uh, relationship between this fact table and relationship. That is the reason these relationships are coming. So if I am deleting this relationship, it is updating the your workspace as well. Okay. Right now I don't have any relationship between this dim date. Oh, sorry. Okay. There is no relationship between this date, date and fact of product sales. Okay, right. So 
if you don't have any relationship in your source level also the tables will come like this now what i want to do i want to make the relationship between this fact table and dip date the relationship with the relationship column is sales date key and this date key so how can you make the relationship you can drag drag and uh, drop the middle of the key all right so one way is to just drag and drop this into this column so we don't know on what column basis it is uh, creating the relationship okay so you just double click on this this is the fact product sales table and from that table sales date key and this is the related uh, lookup table and dim date the column is date key we are making the relationship between these two tables based on these two columns so if i am going to make it is a active button disable what will happen this comes like this what is the active means there is a relationship between this fact product sales and dim date but the relationship right now it is in inactive you got the point if it is inactive the relationship don't work i don't want to delete the relationship whatever the relationship i have between these two tables i'm just making inactive it don't work so what why we need a relationships do you really require if you, if you want to make the join uh, you no need to make any relationship directly you can draw when you are writing query select star from uh, this fact table uh, inner join dim date table and what date you want to make the uh, join yes you can make it for that we don't need to create this relationship right but in the in this tabular model we are not going to write down any queries okay if you have the proper relationships between this fact product sales and dim date when you want to see each year wise for example in this or each date wise each date wise what is the order quantity if you want to see and you are browsing this order quantity you are browsing date column from this dim date table order quantity from the fact table if there is no relationship between those two then it don't give a proper result matching result if we have the relationship then it will give the proper relationship automatically whenever you are browsing the fields from these tables it will make the join conditions automatically you got the point if the relationships already made if you are defining already relationships over here when you are going to browse the data from browse a columns from this table and this table okay so whatever the columns you want to browse from these two tables it will automatically prepare a query how it is going to prepare the query if there is no relationship on what column it has to join these two tables if there is no relationship if you are defining the relationship over here it will now whenever you are browsing the two fields from these two tables it has to make the relationship on the date key and sales date key. automatically internally it will done okay if it is inactive in the inactive case also it don't create any relationship it don't work it don't prepare any join condition between those okay so you have to make the relationship between yes. that is the active relationship all those things okay right so one way is you are just dragging and dropping the when you are going to create the relationship you just drag and drop for example i don't have any relationship between this uh, dim customer and fact product sales so the another way to create the relationship is you just right click on this dim customer create relationship okay so here you can select so what is the column you want to use to create the relationship customer id 
and here what do you want to use fact product sales the same kind. automatically it will try to look up there is anything the same with the same name column it will try to find out that column okay otherwise the column name is different you have to find out that column name so when I, when i'm selecting automatically that particular uh, fact product sales it is automatically displaying the customer id because it is trying to find out is there any column in the fact product sales table with the same name of customer id then it will make the relationship in the both tables uh, column names are same it will automatically make the relationship okay so this is the way you have to make the relationship now you can't find the active button once you are creating the relationship then you will get the active or inactive click ok create the relationship now you can open you will find out the active button okay so that is the second way to create a relationship so in in this uh, diagram mode what is displaying here whatever uh, columns you want to display whatever the if there is any measures if there is any hierarchies kpis we'll discuss later all these things for example if, if you don't want to display all the columns you just want to display uh, if you just want to display only the table names okay you just disable all these options and if you want to see the columns inside the tables yes and if you want to display the hierarchies inside the table yes you can create the you can uh, show the hierarchies as well do we have any hierarchies here yes in the dim store i have created uh, one hierarchy yesterday okay so if you are selecting hierarchy it will display the hierarchy country state city okay so how can you create a hierarchy i want to delete this hierarchy what do you mean by hierarchy? Any idea? Hierarchy means parent uh, child relationship. Uh, like, uh, uh, yes, that is the design should be parent child. Tell me one example uh, for uh, hierarchy. Like, country is there, state, and then uh, that uh, district. This kind of thing. What is the advantage of hierarchies? So why we need to create? Can easily find out the particular. Particular. Uh, you can easily find out the particular uh, place, whatever we need. Country. State, city, okay. and I have a fact. This is a location ID. And uh, I have the order quantity in fact table. And location ID I have. Okay. So, If you don't have any hierarchy between country, state, city, for example, what I want to see, I want to see the each country wise, what is the order quantity, what it will do, we will make the, it will make automatically relationship between this location and ID and location ID, right, for example, in this fact table, this is a fact table, this is a dimension table in the fact table if we have a, a one crore records okay and these one crore records belongs to two countries sales information india usa so whatever one crore records we have it is going to sum of those two those one crore records and it will group based on the country am i right it will do the operation on one crore records so it will give like uh, this way answers yes india this is the sales amount 
now I want the state wise and then city wise okay first I want to get the city wise and uh, each city wise when you are going to fetch what will happen for example in the both countries you have uh, 10 cities and it is going to make the what is the sales amount for each 10 cities order quantity clear then I am going to get the each state wise what is the order quantity again uh, is it going to uh, do the state wise uh, uh, order quantity to sum up and to group up whatever you have one crore records not required right because already you have 10 cities order quantity right in the 10 cities order quantity you have uh, five cities uh, belongs to a particular state and five state uh, five cities belongs to a particular state so simply it will combine the first five rows and the second five rows and it will give this five five cities information is a uh, uh, particular state and this five uh, rows data belongs to this particular state instead of doing the operation sum of group by and again one group records is it clear If you are not understanding, yes, it please. It will show in Caribbean gas. Come again. Uh, it's not clear, sir. Okay, right. So, for example, I have a city name uh, Bangalore. Sorry, not city. Look, in inside the Bangalore, uh, I have uh, uh, locations like. Uh, Bangalore 1, Bangalore 2, okay, order quantity this way, and Hyderabad 1, Hyderabad 2, okay. So this is uh, 7, this is 9. This is the orders happening in my uh, country. Locations in my locations okay today i got four orders in bangladesh bangalore one location bangalore uh, two location that is uh, you can decide uh, you can put some other locations inside the city also okay so this bangalore bangalore belongs to which country uh, Karnataka. Oh, sorry india. india all are belongs to india only or you can make uh, it is this hyderabad belongs to pakistan in Pakistan also we have on the Hyderabad okay so this is a state belongs to Karnataka okay and this is belongs to Mohari whatever and this state name is nothing but Bangalore this is also this is Hyderabad this is Hyderabad so now what I am expecting each city wise what is the order quantity what is the order quantity each city wise the Bangalore city Hyderabad city I have two cities right and what is the Bangalore uh, yes, order quantity total six right what is the Hyderabad quantity 16. 16 so now what I am expecting each state wise what is the order quantity total how many states you have Tell me what is the states and what is the order quantity? Uh, Karnataka. What is the order quantities? Six. How can you say that? How can you say that it is a six? You are looking on this. Yes. 
you are looking on this table or this table this data location ID and quantity order quantity so you are looking on this table right for calculating the each state wise what is the sales amount am I right yes so if you are looking on this table if you want to find out Karnataka's sales amount how many rows you have to add two rows right Right now you have here two rows. If you have one crore records in the Bangalore, uh, uh, one Bangalore two, what you have to do? You have to add one crore records. Am I right? Yes. Why you are going to add over here? Because already you have each city wise. So the Bangalore is only belongs to Karnataka and Hyderabad belongs to Mohali. Simply you can combine whatever the cities wise data you have then that way that you can make over here instead of going to again the base table okay instead of going again to the base table you can use this city information already it has summarized the information in the lower level yes, sir. now if you want to country wise Now, if you want, how can you find out? Direct, well, directly, we will go to that uh, state and the quant uh, order quantity table, and we can get the record. But actually, we can make the relationship uh, with this table, or it will be it will be in the cache memory. It will take actually. Right. So now the scan will be in what situations when it is going to calculate for the country wise, it don't go to the base table. It will go to the next level, state level. And when it is going to calculate the state level, it don't go to the base table. It will go to the, the, the below next level. When it will happen like this, if we have hierarchies. If we have hierarchies, it will calculate the, for example, I have a hierarchy, country, state city okay city. and then the least level location id so when it is going to calculate the city wise sales amount and when you want to see the state wise sales amount it will don't go to the location id already city information you have so it will find out the city wise and when you want to see the country wise it will take the data from state wise it will reduce the query traffic yeah, it will improve the performance of the query as well okay that is the usage of the internally the hierarchy usage is this one the performance point of view we have to explain them at least this one then they will satisfy okay so the unexperienced people are telling the hierarchy means so they will give two examples country state city and when you want to see the city wise uh, uh, state wise you have to select country country wise they will answer like this if you don't give meaning they will give like year wise some other uh, hierarchies year quarter semester quarter month wise okay so how can you create the hierarchies over here i have in this dim store table I have city city column, state column, country column. I want to create the hierarchy somewhere. How it is possible? Right click, create hierarchy. Okay. The hierarchy name, what do you want to give? I want to give the location hierarchy. Okay. Then what columns you want to use to do the hierarchy we just drag and drop those columns uh, the top level hierarchy is the country right so you just yes, sir. press it and move on to your location hierarchy, yes, that hierarchy. yeah your mouse okay see that will add it over here yes, sir. okay and if you want to rename that column yes you can rename 
the next level is state again drag and drop it will come to the next level or uh, the next state city okay yes you just drag and drop okay total country wise state wise mm -hmm. for example uh, by mistakely if you have added country a state first and country second then you can move right click and move up move down no problem based on the order only it will make the hierarchy okay and also whatever the columns you have used country state city so in then i uh, already these columns are under hierarchy then why you want to show this city city state country if you don't want just right click hide source column name I mean, uh, sorry, the source column means from this country, state, city, these three columns are added under the location hierarchy and these columns are coming from which column it is displaying right earlier. Yes, so if you can uh, show those columns, see this column is coming from country column, state column, city column. Those are nothing but country, state, city. We don't require from which columns we are taking these columns. So you just hide the columns okay if you want to remove this one yes you can remove. if you want to rename yes you can rename. clear yes. Yes. so instead of um, coming over here right click and creating hierarchy so on which column you want to start the hierarchy the top level column you can select and you just right click so the another way how to create the hierarchy so you just delete the existing one So you just, I want to create a hierarchy on the country, state, city. Okay. So then what you can do is just right click on this country column. This is the top level column. Right click, create a hierarchy. What is the name you want to give? Location. Can right. you have dragged or... You don't need to drag that one because directly you have started the uh, hierarchy on that column. Only. So you don't need to drag it up automatically. It will take that column under the hierarchy. Then next you have to drag the remaining columns. This is the hierarchy. If you don't want to show this hierarchy, just disable this one. If you are selecting this hierarchy over here, it will select the hierarchy. Okay. So this is about the hierarchies in the interview point of view. They will ask two questions. What is the usage of hierarchy? And uh, how to create the hierarchies in a tabular model what are the two ways and uh, can you please give some examples to create the hierarchies okay so if you observe when you are going to create the hierarchies there are two kind of uh, hierarchies two kind of means for example countries state and city in these kind of scenarios a country may not repeat more than one time so for example i have india and i have us under india whatever the states you have 29 states those 29 states is coming under India only. Am I right? Is Andhra Pradesh or Orissa is belongs to US? No. Correct. Whatever the US is having uh, uh, 35 states, those states belong to only US only. And whatever the cities you have in uh, India, Hyderabad, Bangalore, Chennai, Patna, whatever those cities you don't find in 
Two years. Okay. These uh, kind of hierarchies we are calling independent hierarchies. But if you are coming to the year semester quarter month I have for example two years 2016 and 2017 under 2016 I have how many semesters two semesters right uh, we have two semesters, yes, sir. semester one semester two how many quarters I have quarter one quarter two quarter three quarter uh, how many months I have? So I have uh, 1 to uh, 1 to 12 months, January, February. Under 2017? What are those? 1 comma 2. And here? 4. So if you observe here, what is the difference between this one and this one? that the semester is uh, repeating yes uh, the semester quarter month all are repeating in the uh, each year but in this case yes. a state is belongs to a particular country it never comes to other country and these are something like a dependent uh, hierarchies okay So that is the difference between uh, these two, this one and this one. Okay, for example, now I want to see each semester wise. Okay, uh, each semester wise sales amount. I have total two years data. Each semester wise, I want to see the sales information. Then how it is going to find out the data? One two is belongs to 2016. One two is belongs to 2017. So it will confuse. So that is the reason. If you want to made a unique value over here, for example, this semester one belongs to 2016. This semester one belongs to 2017. Okay, the combination of your semester. How it, it comes if you are making like this way semester 1 2016 semester 2 2016 2016 this is 2017 and this is 2017 so now is it repeating no right no this semester is 2016 first semester this semester is 2017 first semester okay so you have to make the distinction like this now, uh, now sir it is also independent now it is independent we are going to make that as a independent by doing like this naturally these are natural hierarchies natural means like by birth whatever uh, by naturally those are uh, hierarchies country state city you no need to do anything you no need to make any uh, manipulations like this but these are unnatural hierarchies Am I right? Yes. By source, these are not a hierarchy properties. You have to make the distinction like this way. Then only these will get the hierarchy properties. Okay. Uh, sir, sir, one doubt is there. Yeah. In that uh, semester, hmm. actually we can make this uh, uh, one hyphen 2016. Huh like we, we have to maintain this data like this or we can make a unit uh, we are not going to maintain the data we are not going to maintain the data 
so when we are creating these hierarchies so we can set some properties automatically when it is going to querying the data when you are going to browse year semester it don't know right so this semester is belongs to which year so we have we are going to maintain uh, we are going to set some properties okay then it will automatically based on that property values when you are querying the data it will make this kind of combinations automatically it will do we are not going to maintain here in multi-dimension model we are setting some properties the key value for the semester is semester comma year so in this way we, we are going to set the key value okay based on this combination it is trying to get the key value for each semester i have to use data total four semesters semester 1 2 in 2016 semester uh, 1 2 in 2017 so how it is going to uh, if you don't have the key value the combination of semester and year what will happen it will combine the first sem in 2016 first sem in 2017 it will combine as a one sem and the second sem it is it is going to combine as a second sem okay so this is the way we will do i will i will explain you those things in the next